Hey everyone, I'm here to explain how to do the inquiry activity for Build an Atom. And for this assignment, you are going to have to click and either write or draw in all of these little lines in here, or you're going to have to print this out and um, make some sort of uh, picture and write, it, write all of that down and then upload a picture. Or you can um, write it down on regular paper. Just make sure, I can't stress this enough, that you number your work with the scenarios and the problems. Okay, so first things first, okay? You are going to go to this website right here, betcolorado.edu slash en simulation build an atom. It brings you over to here. And then it says to click on the gray sideways triangle. And then you want to click on this center one, symbol. Please don't click on the atom one. Click on the symbol. And then what you should see is this little simulator right here. Okay, on the bottom right, you should see this show button. See how it says show right here. And you are going to click on stable, unstable. And then you're ready to go. Okay, so for the first scenario right here, you are going to click and drag one red proton into the center of the atom. Okay, so here's my bucket of protons, and we're going to click this into the center. Notice the name of the element is shown, as well as the symbols in this little box. Okay, it says, what is the symbol box on, or what, draw what's in the symbol box on the right by clicking on the line to make the superscripts and subscripts and tell me what element this is. So you would click in here and you would write hydrogen. And we don't want to mess up our formatting. So then I would write what's inside this box. If I am typing it, I would click on the actual line and I would write a one. On the bottom line, I would write a one. On the middle, I would write a capital H for hydrogen, and then I would type a plus one for this number in the upper right. Okay, if you are typing it, please follow this idea right here. Okay, if you are handwriting it, you can just draw right inside the box. Okay, then it says grab, drag one gray neutron into the center of the atom. So here's my neutron, so I'm going to drag that in. And we see that symbol changes. Okay, so it says draw what's in the symbol box on the right by clicking on the line and that, and which number changed. Okay, the upper left number changed. Okay, that is called the mass number for those of you that have already had that lesson. If you haven't, what you um, have in the beginning is perfectly fine. And then you can fill it in right here. So now I have a 2, I have an H, I have a plus 1, and I have a 1 on the bottom here. Then it says drag one blue electron into the center of the atom. Okay, I've dragged my blue electron in. Whoa, where does it go? It doesn't go into the center. It goes to the out to the inner ring and where are the electrons located in the atom with respect to the protons and neutrons we can say they are around the nucleus and then draw what's in the box okay so when i draw what's in the box i have a 2 i have a 1 i have an h and now i have a zero up on the top. So notice there is no plus, no minus. Now it is zero. Okay, and that finishes scenario number one. So here it says click the little recycle, reset all button, and make sure that you click the stable, unstable button every time you start a new scenario. And that way you can have the correct symbols. So you have scenario two, scenario three, scenario four, scenario five, six, 
And then the very last one is to play the games. So how do we get to the games? Well, what you might not realize down here is that it says game on the bottom right. So click on game. You're going to start with this one on the left, and you're going to work your way through. And once you've practiced enough with the protons, neutrons, and electrons, you should be able to find the element. This has one proton, so that is hydrogen, and it has one electron, so it is neutral. So I'm going to check. Yay, I got it right. And you'll write your scores here, your total score at the bottom, and don't forget to turn it in. All right, good luck. If you have any questions, please email me. Have fun building your atoms.